my favorite song because I first of all I felt every word he was saying in the pain and 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 it was just it, I just like I don't see how a mother can't feel that song. Fair. And then he mentioned Key in that song and, and, and Key was my guy. Uh and, and, and rest in peace to Key, long live Key. Uh, long live. And, and um uh, yeah, that that in in the, in that same session, uh Moda and Duke, they made they recorded uh another song as a video to it called Bob Marley. And and uh, who else was there? I want to say I don't want to stop failing. You know, failing, failing, you know, failing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just talking to him the other day. Yeah, mm-hmm. and speaking of, uh, you know, Carlos just called me a couple hours ago. Yeah, for sure, for sure. That's my nigga, Carlos. I grew up with him. Like he finna come home soon. Free Carlos. Carlos, yeah. And and uh and Leo and Leo, you know what I'm saying? He up there getting that getting that East Coast money up there. Right, uh, shout out to Leo. Leo purchased the uh t-shirt and the hat uh yeah. a couple weeks ago, man. Shout out to Leo. Yeah, he's all he yeah, them, them like my brothers, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How, how did you how did you meet them? We went to River uh, Riverdale Middle School together. Yeah, okay, that's what's up, Dan. That's what's up. So uh Feel me a kid, me. You say you feel like this dude favorite. Uh, that's your that's your favorite song of his. Yeah, I'm definitely fucking with it. Definitely fucking with it. So I seen that you made beats for Motor, bro. What was your and Motor relationship? You say you've been knowing him. So what? How how far you and Motor go back? This is long as Duke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About that time, a little bit after that. I like, we been... really you you were slick, young ma back in the day, huh? That again, so you really was young mob back in the day, huh? <laughs> every, every time, especially Moda, every time, every time, Moda, Moda, Moda would grab me and be like, He young mob, he young mob, somebody got, he got something to say about it, and he answered to me, he answered to do yeah. but uh, I fuck with him, you know what I'm saying? Like, and then you know, like, you know, back then, you know what I'm saying. Me staying in Raleigh and shit, you know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, <laughs> you stay in Raleigh. Man, man, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I be with who I want to be with. Right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. So it's, it's, it's you know, it, it, we was young, you know what I'm saying? Everybody was young. You Bad. know what I'm saying? It's all- so uh what was your motor process like? Uh like I said, wh- I seen that y'all y'all got several songs too. Like what what was the process like with you and Motor, bro? How did y'all start it in the booth? My um uh, my Motor, bro. Like okay, like so like after that after that session when when Duke came home, Motor started hitting me up and like, bro, like you should have been told me you was making beats. And I, I was just like, bro. Man, so many rappers that I fuck with don't. That I don't even be on that with them. Like miscellaneous, I, bro. Like I can name so many rappers in Memphis that I don't even be coming at them like that because I don't know them from that. Right. You understand? Right. We, we don't, and and that's not my source of income. Like you got to understand, rappers they get booked for shows. They getting twenty thousand show or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Producers don't get booked for shows. So I can't like. I can, but I'm not going to, for me, what works for me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not going to stop what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm more of like a business-minded kind of person, you know what I'm saying? I'm more into the business. Like, I love, I have a passion for music, but, like, I never had um, something to sway me from taking me away from what I got going on. For for you know to to neglect what I got going on and just go with that full time. You know what I'm saying? Funds over fun. Yeah. So, but let's ask you this though: Why not at least just try to get your beats out there? It it ain't even about selling it to them. Just about the niggas you know or the people you know in the industry. Just to even get your your name out more. Just but just this. You got you 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 doing what you're doing on the business side, but you do make beats. So you got a cheat code because you do know people. 
So she, it ain't even on the business side. I mean, it ain't even got to be business right now. But listen, hey, I know you, I know you, I know you, I know you. Just send them some shit to see if they will use it. It ain't you charging them, but it could turn into something. It'll, it'll turn out good. Fuck around. You look on YouTube and and Scooter yelling jug. And that one got 500,000 views and it's a train they be. True, true. Uh, I mean, well, I ain't talked to school in some years. You know I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, saying whoever, whoever that you have ties to, uh, just whoever, it'll feel good to just, because you making them, you still got them in the cut. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it just, it, I like, I, I like to, I like it to be organic. I don't like to chase behind people. And, and to be honest with you, bro, in, in this industry, there's a lot of artists that, like, Them, it's like I ain't finna run behind nobody. You do you know what I mean? Right. There's some, there's just like my homeboy may know him and stuff like that, and like, but I ain't finna, I ain't finna, I'm not starving like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And right. Right for myself now, there's just certain people like that, like like oh, I can like we just named miscellaneous. You know what I'm saying? Like. Uh, I can hit him up right now and stuff, but like I just ain't seen him in a while. But like that's my brother. We used to be together all the time and stuff. And it ain't even about music with us. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just uh, I, and then like I be so busy. I be going through like months where I don't even make beats. You know what I'm saying? Like when Mola when Mola passed away, bro, I, I ain't even like have a passion to make beats, bro. I ain't even have a passion to make beats, bro. Like. Like for real, like I did not even have a passion to make beats, cause, cause like before he passed away, I was like I was talking to him on a regular basis. Like that was the closest. Like I'll say the last at least six months, maybe to eight to ten months before he passed, we was, you know, either t together or FaceTiming like a few times a week. So. We was working on a mixtape, and the mixtape was called Mr. I Asked You Nicely. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I mean? Y'all know, I know where that phrase come from. You know what I'm saying? I asked you nicely. I asked you said, get the fuck out your face. <laughs> yeah. Oh, right. I was, I asked him, I said, you sure you want to do that, bro? And he was like, man, just let's do it. And I'm like, okay, I'm with you, bro. I'm running with whatever you say. Let's do it. Right. So, so, uh, I saw he he started taking more seriously because I had to like remind him, but like sometimes you need an outside source, like you need a person on the outside that's looking in to remind that person, bro. You big motor, bro. Everybody know you, bro. Everybody know you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Like from Atlanta to Florida to. Uh, whether they know, they know him through music or just just being molded the gangster, you know what I'm saying? So like, actually, you did, though, you said you was around him or you talking to him the last six months. What was what was his like his his energy like? Because I I see right. stuff over the internet and people be saying, oh, he knew this and he knew that and you know he was saying so from somebody that was around him because when I used to see him, it was in passing, you know. Playing three cars, hustling, he doing some shit like that. That's when I seen him. But what was his energy like to you? What was his headspace basically like? To me, our conversations, that was the clearest, that was the clearest his mind has been from since I've known him. Meaning like he wasn't he wasn't out there deep in the field like that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like he was before. And, and like me and him used to talk about like, because like I had been left that alone, you know what I mean? And um, he on like, he was talking about his kids. He was talking about like, bro, like, I, I was telling him, bro, like, you, you gotta be patient for a while. You gotta say, and like pursue this rap shit. And, and the, it's gonna take more time. And you know, you gotta leave some of the bullshit alone, it's gonna be like, you know, your pockets ain't gonna be as fat right now. But in the long run, bro, 
since we're talking about your kids, bro, it's going gonna, it's gonna to change their lives. It's going to change your life. You know what I'm saying? And, and we had deep conversations, man. And, like, and it came out of nowhere because I'm I'm thinking, like, bro, like, he headed, like, you know what I'm saying? He he hit, we he taking it serious. We're working on this mixtape. Because the, the mixtape before, the last mixtape he dropped, I produced half of it. The other half was produced by uh, – TP, uh, precisely producer, right? Right, and uh, this one I was gonna produce majority of it. I think he had like one or two songs produced by someone else, and um, and like, um, you know, I, I've talked to his family, I've talked to his sister a few times, I talked to her, I checked on her like a month ago, but like, I'm not gonna get into like not yet into like you know does he have any any unreleased music and stuff like that but I, I i am you know i do feel you know like privileged that i do i i do have one song that was not released that was going to be on the mixtape and it was the last time i was with him last time i was physically with him and seen him um and uh it's actually called shelby drive shelby drive the song called Shelby Drive. Yep. Damn. Ain't this? When, yeah. when he gone, Shelby? Yeah. Yeah. She crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. Did you hate the Damn. Yeah. When? Did you listen to the song? I listened to it, bro. But I, it took me. I just, I just, I just listened to it. Just like maybe not even a month ago. After all these months, it's been about a year since his parents. It's crazy song called Chevy Drive. Right, right. I had did a live man on motor. Uh, you say it's been a year? Yeah, about a, almost. I, I don't think it's been a year. I mean, I, I it might have, but I did I did a live on him earlier this year. It might have been a year. You might be right. And uh, almost. And uh, back when I first started blogging, and, and like you said, unexpected. Like I don't just I don't hang with Moto, but I know Moto. Moto Moto was around when I was growing up and shit, though. So I don't have nothing of uh, a bad energy for Moto, none of it. But like you said, it was just unexpected, right? So when I when I when I sat back and thought about it, I was like, man, uh it just made me do a it made me do a little live on it and just speaking about the unexpected on it, because I thought like what you as far as what you saying, bro, was more so on just just not in the streets that deep. You know what I'm saying? Right. So when that happened, it was like, damn, they made it feel like, you know, ain't nobody really safe. As far as just, you know what I'm saying? You got to really move smooth. Right. Yeah, we had deep conversations, bro. Like he would he would ask me advice like on on certain things that because he knows i had been got away from all that you know what i'm saying like i still be you know i still pull up, i still be in memphis i pull up in memphis and i still see my people but i ain't just like you know what i mean Fact. i'm living you know what i'm saying Fact. Fact. so all right but yeah i miss my just speaking out my bad bro uh, my bad my bad go ahead no no go ahead now nah, I was just saying, uh, so uh, just to wrap it up on on motor though, uh, how did he, how did his passing just really affect you? Because I I heard you say you stopped making music for a minute. I mean, making beats, yeah, making music, and uh, yeah, just how did how did it affect you, bro? Like on the, because I heard it's more, it was more personal than just, you know what I'm saying, in the studio. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, well, it's sad, bro, cause he got kids, bro, and uh, and, and and then like when he passed, bro, I talked to his sister, like the day after, uh, two days after, 
and and like I felt her, you know. I don't, I don't want to just go into that conversation, but but I felt her. I know what it's like because I lost my brother. You know what I'm saying? So I felt her, bro, and I felt her anger and her hurt. You know, and you know what I'm saying. I just I just feel like this going on. You know the dog situation and everything going on in Memphis, bro. We got to do better, bro. Like. Outside of rap, first of all, rap, we got the most talented artists in America. Everybody biting our style, everybody's sampling six songs. Everybody, everybody, folks in New York rapping on Memphis beats, folks in wherever, right? Canada, Drake rapping on Memphis, you know what I'm saying? Like, so, like, and I ain't, I ain't mad at them, I'm just saying that, like, we could all be there could be so much more money flow in memphis if we just all just like i, I mean me and you we know we know how it go you know what i'm saying like it, it can't be all kumbaya with everybody but we we got to get to the business though because like the city run down compared to how it could be okay so what what you think what you think We'll bring it to that point where where people are coming together because right now it look rough. You know what I mean? And, and I don't know the answer. You know what I'm saying? Bro, let's just let's just be. We have to be honest with ourselves, bro. It's just like like when someone like when someone is a drug addict and they just like that. The first step is to what like admit what's going on. They have to be. You know, they can't be in self denial. We having a civil war in our city. Mm. We have an internal war within our city. And our city is so small that in this internal war, his cousin is, is on this side and his and he he grew up with him on this side and all this. It's like there's so many people that could prevent, possibly prevent or calm down or pour you know, pour water on the fire rather than gasoline. But but we have to get away from the ignorance where a lot of people they they pour too much gasoline on the fire, bro. And, and that's killing the money, that's killing the vibe. You know what I'm saying? It's it did know, ain't like it was growing up, you know what I'm saying? Coming up in the cities. Even go to clubs now. The club scene did, the, the nightlife did. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I bro, we had Bro, it was popping. It was popping. Man, this the nightlife in the house. Yeah. <laughs> in the house, man. For real. Goes right now. I ain't, man, I ain't fucking out. So give me your good, bad, and ugly about the city, bro. The good is is uh is our culture. We have a rich, rich culture. Yeah. That's why every, you ever go out of town and, and be like, I'm from Memphis, and then they automatically, mm. they automatically respect you, fuck with you. You can go anywhere. They, they, you know what I mean? It's we one of them cities. You know what I'm saying? So our culture, we we like not just music, just just us in general, right? You know what I mean? So we. Very prideful, you know what I'm saying. So, and and we have a reason to be prideful because our city has a lot of history. Uh, so, that's the, the good is our, you know, our culture. It, it reflects in our music. Right. It's a lot of pain in our music. It's a lot of turn up because you know what I'm saying. It it. it it's a lot of pain. It's a lot of turn up. But the turn up is we trying to hide the pain. But people love both sides of it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, back to filming before they kill me. You got stuff like that. But then you got the turn up, like, certified stepper. You know what I'm saying? Right. Oh, so they like that from us. You know what I'm saying? We, we like it. We listen to it. We fuck with it. You know, in Memphis. So, but this is catch 22 to it because. Without all this drama going on in Memphis, 
our music would be different. Like imagine like if we, you know, in Hawaii, you know, where the, where the crime is real low and it's, you know, palm trees outside, the crime real low and you know what I mean? You can leave your door unlocked. The music wouldn't be the same. So, it, you know, it's the good and the bad. Yep. All right. So you mentioned that you're from uh, how you say how you say we say it in Memphis, Iran, Iran. You're from Iran, right? Uh, but you grew up in the, you grew up in Memphis. Your family from Iran. But uh, right. do you ever visit there? You go back? Yeah, yeah. Last time I went back was like 2000, right before COVID, like 2018. And what's it like over there, bro? What's it like the culture? What's your family like over there? Uh, so, okay, so, like, there's no relationship with America at all, meaning, so, like, there's nine countries in the entire world that has no extradition to America. There's no U.S. embassy, which basically, in layman's terms, means you can catch a charge here, get on a plane, go over there, and America can never get you. But, like, if, if you catch a charge here, go to Mexico or go to uh, France or wherever, other than them nine countries uh that could extradite you back to america so i say that to say this like th that tells you how there is no relationship with america so it's strictly ran on islam like the the, the government is uh is is actually you say in english the islamic republic of iran so it's like uh it, it's it's strict on certain things but like um, I, when I tell people like you know we like a three my city it's like 15 million people in my city so it's it's you know what I mean it's not like we're from the sand and desert you know what I'm saying you have areas in other countries like that but where I'm from it's not like that so like so when I tell people I'm we a three hour trip my city a three hour plane ride to do to Dubai we say Dubai but anyway uh people think oh he rich nah but like but see that that is another country right there that they have a strong relationship with america you know what i'm saying and that's like a tourist spot where we at it's uh it's 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 the people is fucked, the, like the economy's fucked up you know what i'm saying right. Every, america you know but it's damn near impossible you know, you got to have like family here and you got to apply for a visa and it takes that takes two, three years. You know what I'm saying? You get married to somebody. It takes three years to even get an approval or de or denial. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, so when it comes to like, damn, you said nine countries. So I don't want to get too political. But so who like y'all allies though? Like far as let's say if y'all needed some help. If, if, if like some shit popped off, like China, China would have our back. Russia would have our back. Uh, why, 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 why? <laughs> That's some powerful country, ain't it? See, we so, a third world. So, so really, Iran is America's op. One hundred percent. But hold on, hold on, hold on. But let me get this right for the viewers, not the regular people. We we're talking about the government. The government. It's just the governments versus the governments. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is, the I regular people are going to be the ones who get the ass bombed, though. Say it again? The regular people be the ones who get bombed, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, okay, like, I'm going I'm to tell you a quick story. Like, oh, man. A, a quick story. <laughs> we, we went to war with Iraq. Before America went to war with Iraq, we went to war with Iraq. They, they next door to us. It's like, it's like, uh, Arkansas and Tennessee connected. You know what I'm saying? Right. Border went to war with them for eight years. Over five million people died. Uh, like years later after that, I don't know, maybe like ten years later after that, uh, fifteen years later after that, uh, America. And, and by the way, that in that war, America supplied Iraq with the weapons to kill 
exterminate us. Look what okay? you just said, though. I just look what you said, though. I ain't know that Russia, China, they the big, they are, they ops too. They, they not our ops. They America's ops. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay, but see, um, and we'll get to that, but so years later, America invaded Iraq and then killed Saddam, and it's crazy that they 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 helped them for, right. for some years to exterminate us, and then they invaded them. Right. Crazy. Right, but uh but yeah um it's but but see we got internal wars over there too though we be beefing with each other different countries you know what i'm saying like uh you know the middle east we be just like y'all got y'all got black on black crime over here we we got like you know like you know we have different type of muslims like we shia muslim they like a lot of other people are sunni muslims and i don't care you got a lot of people like me that we don't care like i ain't got no beef with nobody but it'd be the governments that be like that be like creating the drama and the beef and it just be about money and and power but you got followers and and you know what i'm saying and sheep that believe what the government say and then follow you know what i mean and then so like so i didn't seen like even in memphis i didn't seen people that, from certain countries that when i tell them i'm the iranian uh you know i, I could see it in how they right i mean that they like you know like yeah so who food better? Over there or over here? Hey, look, if you're going to try Middle Eastern food, you have to try Persian food. And I'm not being biased. I'm being honest. Persian, so Iran, another way to say it, it, like if you're in California, they don't say Iran, they say Persian. Because Persia is, is just the modern day Iran, like in Iran back then, it was called Persia in the Bible, you know what I'm saying, and the Quran. So, like, um, so Persian food, we have, I mean, I'm just being real with you, you know, we got the best food. I'm just being real with you. Like, you, you a lot of Arabs, too. what kind of food y'all eat over there for you to say that? Like, night, give me a give me give me a dinner dish right now. She's uh Roma Sabsy. That shit Kabbalah. don't even say that shit didn't even roll off right. Whatever you just said, whatever you hell no. Nah. What what'd you just say? Roma Sabsy. You can't say no, you said she what you say? Hey, hey, look, look, check it out. Check what it out. is it? I'll, it's it's like it's like um give me the that, items on it. We're we gonna, we gonna go dish for dish. Go ahead, give me. Give me, hold on. Give me a meat, two sides, and a meat, drink. Go ahead. It would be a beef. Uh, beef what? And, 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 and beef uh, chuck. Like, I don't know what the fuck you call it in English. Uh, be like, it's like basically like steak. Basically like steak, but a certain kind of steak. I don't know what. Okay, how it's prepared? Okay, this it's cut into like squares. The, the steak, and then uh, and then you have like the greens. It's um, uh, it's uh, sabzi sabzi is uh, it's a it's a green vegetable, bro. I gotta look all this. It it's, it takes like to make to make this. It takes like you gotta let it sit overnight, and it's like. Maybe twelve different ingredients, not including the spices and stuff like All that. All in for one dish. And then, and then on top of that, the rice. See, we cook basmati rice, and I mean, I, you know, I mean, you know, you you know, like Chinese rice is cool, Mexican rice is cool, but like, but our rice, but I mean, there's a reason why if you go to a Persian restaurant, there's a reason. Why it's I mean, you get what you pay for. I'm just. But I like Chinese rice too. I like Mexican food too. I ain't hating on it. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you that when it comes to the yams. Oh, but look, hold on. I grew up with. I mean, I grew up with. when it comes to that. Lasagna, on soul food, all that. So, so don't get me wrong. I love soul food too. I I grew up because because I was kicking. I was at my. 
homeboys' houses, uh, you know, when I was a kid, spending the night eating their parents' food. So, like, I love soul food just the same. Only thing, I just don't eat pork. But Me, you know, I don't so eat pork food. either. It's hard, to, it's hard to beat, defeat any food when it comes to this soul food. Man. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like, you know how, how, how they say, is the barbecue capital? I feel like, more importantly, we the soul food capital. There's, there's really Memphis. Memphis is probably, other, that's what they probably need to get credit for. More so on the soul food side. Fuck the barbecue, because I, I, I don't even think Memphis, I ain't never thought they barbecue was that good here, bro. I ain't even gonna lie. Barbecue guy, but you know what I'm saying? But the soul the barbecue food. be the best in the house. Potatoes and and the and you just you know um uh, the the greens the collard greens just you know the I can't do cheese the barbecue yeah, baked beans bread yeah cornbread yo shit now you name a dish over there to defeat that you tell me you tell me bro bro when I when I shoot the when I shoot the okay bro like this is the thing. When I shoot to Memphis, like probably in two weeks, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to bring you a dish, and you decide for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna be old though. It's gonna be old by the time you get here. It ain't gonna be fresh no more. Check it out. Check it out. Okay, where I'm at right now, we got Persian restaurants, but in Memphis, there ain't in the past like eight years the. They, we don't got no more Persian restaurants because we don't have that many Iranian people in Memphis. It's majority Arab people that y'all see at the corn stores. Now we have we have uh, a restaurant called Alibaba. There's a couple of Arab restaurants. Alibaba, uh, that's the one I usually go to. It's similar to Persian food. It's just not exactly the same. It's like it's like you know you got it's like you you know you got like. The Nike Tech sweatpants, and then you got like just the regular Nike sweatpants. Man, I sound like I'm hating on them. Damn. Yeah, yeah, but, you, man, you sure did. That, see, that, that's why y'all can't get along right there. There you go. No, most of my homeboys is Arab. I was really just saying, them, but I'm just saying, they know our food. Fine. You know, they going to say the same thing about their food, but a lot of them, a lot of them going to admit the Persian food fire, bro. Persian food. So, what's, let me ask you this. What's some. What's a Persian snack? Like what's what's a, what's uh, something that y'all just just noon noon and sugar. It's like a snack would be like pita bread and some feta cheese and and like different um not jam but like 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 uh. What's what's the fruit called? What's the fruit called? Uh, pomegranate, like it's pomegranate. It's not the fruit though. It's like pomegranate is in it. I don't know how you say. It. I need to learn how you say that, all this stuff in English. But what kind uh, of drinks y'all drink over there? Oh, but we got, but we, but you can get Hennessy over there. You can get Coca Cola, whatever. But the thing is, alcohol is illegal. So just like how people buy, you know what I mean. Uh, a legal substance over here. You just gotta holler at, you know, whoever got it over there for that. You know what I'm they saying? Need but, real time for it. Yeah. Well, well, it depends how much. You know, just like over here, it depends how, how much weight you got. You know what I'm saying? But like, but like, you know, Afghanistan across the border. So folks driving across Afghanistan and bringing, because that's where the opium plants is grown in. And uh. And yeah, you're doing time if you, you know what I mean, bringing it across the border. Because over there, we have a real big uh, heroin epidemic. You know what I'm saying? Because because 90% of, ever since, ever since, uh, you know, the war started with uh, Afghanistan, 90% of the heroin in America has came from there. And And ask yourself, who can bring it on the plane from there to here? Other than the military, other than the U.S. military, who? Nobody. Makes you wonder, huh? Sound like you, you sound like you heavy into politics, man. Well, no, nah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just putting two and two together. Two and two, 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 make four, man. 
two and two make four and show for show. So it's a di- it's it's a totally different than being. Oh, you you mentioned Afga- Afghanistan. You ever been to Afghanistan? Why I'm not? Trying to- scary. I'm- uh, I ain't scared. It's just I ain't nothing there for me. I'm a city. I'm a city boy. That's country and shit. For real. Yeah. The whole the whole country is but, country. Yeah. On, it's a country. On top of that, they still haven't they still haven't um bounced back from being destroyed by the American government. They still haven't bounced back. All their money over there though. Where well, the country is rich. The country. Well, well, I I say I say like the uh, certain people in the government and getting get money from the opium plants and and then uh but like oil money it would be like Saudi Arabia. We we got oil money in Iran, but see uh, the government keeps it to themselves and um th- that's why the uh also oh, that's, that's why Russia and China watch out Fuck with y'all, cause y'all got that good oil over there too, though. Yeah, but the the regular people live. That's why the regular people are all against the government over there, because it's just only the government has that money. The regular people are living in poverty, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, but like if you, if, but if you're visiting, like, like me, if I'm visiting with the U.S. dollars, U.S. dollars turns into a lot more over there. You know what I'm saying? Like how much? Like a hundred dollars is how much? I mean, it fluctuates every day, literally. You know what I'm saying? Like, so infl- inflation has went up over here. Infl- inflation has went up way more over there. Like, but like, it, like let's just say, like, okay, a, a decent restaurant, a meal in in America, what for one meal is what like a decent restaurant. Let's say, let's say forty dollars. Okay, that forty dollars will get you three meals of that same type of restaurant. Mm. Way to, you know, translate that. I got you. What kind of car do they drive over there? Uh, I mean, they they got Mercedes, Porsche, Benz, everything. Like they got they got they got uh, box Chevys too. Like, but like, but look brand new. But look brand new. <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah. Not not a whole lot, but like I I be seeing them. Yeah. Brand, yeah, Chevrolet Caprice. Box it brand new. It, lo- it looks brand new. Like yeah. um, but like and, and um but then they also got like uh a, a Saba it's Saba it's a car. It's crazy. I got a cousin named Saba. But anyways, uh Saba it's a car that it's an Iranian made Iranian made car. There's another Iranian made car, stop with an F. I forgot what it's called. But then like there's like you know, like um, a lot of a lot of um. When I say Mercedes and Porsches, I'm talking about the folks with the money. You know what I'm saying? And then, but like regular, you see them. You know what I'm saying? But like, you know, regular, just Volkswagens and Hondas and Toyotas. It's a, develop, it's a real developed country, though, right? Yeah, it ain't. Yeah, yeah, it's a different. Yeah, it, it's third world country, but it's it's not like that's why America has so much um, problems and, and and interest in invading over there because they know that that it, it's it's developed to a point to where like so I don't know if you know, you know what uranium enrichment is, but like yeah, I, I I I used to Google a couple of years ago I, for some reason that every once in a while I Google the armies. I know Iranian got a strong army though. Iran got a strong army. Yeah. So like so like it's deep, bro. Yeah. It's deep, but real real fast uranium enrichment like it it helps with power. Like you know, for just power, you know what I'm saying? Lights and and just you know, just power. Okay, so you need that. You need you need power to have the AC running, to the, the electricity on, everything. But also another thing it does is it it helps build uh nuclear weapons. Right. And, and so that's what America wants to go over there and and 
investigated themselves. But Iran's like, hold up. It's like, think about it like this. You got something going on in your house, right? I step down the street. And then like, and then I, I hear that you got something going on to where like you building guns. And it's like, I knock on your door and I'm like, hey bro, can I check? Can I check what you got going on? You ain't finna let me in, right? Mm -mm. So let's just leave that at that. We'll get back to the music. Right. That shit deep. Yeah. Deep, 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 deep. So going forward with the going forward with the music though, bro. Uh anybody you working with? Anybody you trying to work with? I know you said uh you don't do it full time, but like I said, you still do do it. So anybody you working with? This what I this this what I would like is like have some young boys that that you know some future future push icedies and shit, you know what I mean? some some young boys that that will listen you know what I mean will listen because like you know I'm not gonna tell you nothing wrong bro I'm trying because if you get on I get on you know what I'm saying like and yeah. and and I've been around the industry too long but before I made beats I was already like you know what I'm saying around people on the road shows out of town i i think i've been around it like so i have the knowledge you know what i'm saying it's just i just and then i got the beats so i don't mind investing some beats into some young boys that will take it serious you know what i'm saying but um and i'll be telling failing beats you know what i'm saying i'll be telling him take it serious you know what i'm saying i, I you know I, 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 that's, you another, know. that's another story little failing Huh? I said we're gonna push him. Yeah, we're gonna push, gonna push him because he got the talent. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't no bro was talented like he was until I just I'm like, damn, this is him. Okay, this was years ago. And he's solid, and he he ain't he ain't no crash out. He ain't no ignorant motherfucker. He 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 got some sense. See, that's the most important thing to me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he got so. some sense. He got some sense. Man. Definitely, definitely. And shout out to Lil Faith. Right in one of my videos, it's just me and him in that joint. Like, uh, I shot that joint in the middle of the neighborhood called They Wanted It. And he in the background. Okay. Yeah. You got to see I had seen him in, I had seen him in, uh, in B.O.'s, uh, one of B.O.'s re recent videos. Right, 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 right. Yep, I saw him in that joint too. I seen him shit probably about a couple months ago at the gas station, ran into him. Yeah. yeah. Straight, straight, straight. So, uh, bro, from a Memphis perspective, though, uh, just overall, though, bro, coming up in the city, but being from another country, also, uh, you got on your Memphis Tigers, Memphis Fangs. What is it? What is it? Memphis, Memphis Fangs. Memphis, Memphis Energy. Memphis yeah. Energy. So, uh, you you big on the culture. Uh, what do you think it takes for the city just to, man, in your opinion, uh, just to start the process of, of healing? All right, bro. We got to, there was a point in time, bro, and you around my age, there was a point in time where we always been with the shit. Let's be honest with ourselves. We always been, you know, you know, to the violence and and uh, you know what I mean. We just on some ignorant shit. We we always been with the shit. Let's admit it. It's a violent city, but I feel like we we transition for the worse. We used to be like, let's get to the money first. Let's let's get to the money first, and. You know, we glorified the hustlers. And then now, like, we glorify, like, who got the most, or we don't, but I'm saying in general, you know, the, young, the younger generation. And I ain't, you know, I ain't mad at them, bro. I just feel like we got to, we, 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 we misled them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us didn't, not me particular, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, but, and though, let's be honest, bro, a lot of our generation, we didn't, we didn't show them the right way. Like, that's not how you're supposed to. First of all, you snitching on yourself in music. Second of all, bro, who care? Who cares who got bodies, bro? Because like bodies is gonna, it's gonna hide you away from your kids. It's it's gonna 
if you focused on that, you ain't even focused on the money. You ain't finna have no money for the lawyers. You know, you finna either have the public defender or a bullshit lawyer. You know what I'm saying? And um, I never had that mentality. Even when I was a teenager, and I, I never did. You know what I'm saying? I I I I I didn't went broke twice hiring Bill Manson because I know what he's gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Right. I mean, I, I, you can get the money back. But the thing is, if you focused on all the violence and the clout, you know what I mean? Like, you, you finna get locked up, and, and the homeboys, all that gang, like, all, all the gang shit, most of them ain't finna take care of your people. They ain't finna really take care of you. Time finna pass out of sight, out of mind. You finna regret it, bro. You know what I'm saying? I hope somebody young listen. That's what I be telling them back to Lil Phelan. Just, I just want to use him for example because he a younger dude. And some of them listen, some of them don't. Uh, as, as long as at least one person listens, that's all that matters to me. You know what I'm saying? So, like, went out of town. I took, I took Lil Phelan out of town with me uh, to Houston. And I you was know, just trying to, this was, this was a couple of years ago. Pretty, pretty much when I first got out of prison, bro. Like, I don't, I don't know. This was when I went and bought one of my cars, though. But yeah, I took him out, took him out there, just trying to get him out the city. You know what I'm saying? Trying to respect him, chop it up with him, just on the big brush shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Watch him grow up in the neighborhood and just like, you know. Yeah, yeah. So, like you said, the younger guys just trying to put a bug in that girl. You know, like, the, 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 yeah, there's a certain, like, I understand because, you know, like, you know, like my loved ones have, have been, you know what I mean? Like, the, their demise was from violence, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I understand, like, when you fuck with my people, motherfucker can't tell me shit. But at the same time, bro, like, we, we, have, we have to wake up at some point. And we got so much potential to have like a major city. Yeah, we yeah we a metropolitan city in America, but bro, ain't no money in Memphis for real compared to like what we could have. 